Chungu sana ladies and eh uh, hawa wazungu kitu ya kwanza yenye watu wa mjui wanataka wasichana wadogo hawataki mtu mebia kwa over 30 years wanasema tu wanataka hata 19 some of them wanaitisha hadi watoto unapata kuna unajua Mombasa tu ni yule unapata tu kuna hata hata kasichana ka 18 years kameshikwa na huyo mzungu na kasichana kwa kwa roho yake kako pure like nimepata mtu mwenye anaweza nioa anaweza nitoa Kenya anaweza nitoa kwa shida kumbe huyo mtu amekuja ku revenge amekuja ku revenge venye watu wao guys muna, munajua kuna siku kama mnakumbuka hiyo story huyo mzungu hata sahi ya Mombasa sijui tangwa nani ameshi kufangia barabara ameshi kufangia ivana ushaimona ameshi tu kufangia barabara sasa wale wazungu wakiona mtu kama huyo wanadhaningi sisi wa Kenya ndo do, tumewafanyia hivyo so the moment amekushika wewe msichana unajiuza kwa akili yako akili yake yako like yule mwenzetu ana, anafangia barabara Awa watu ndi walikula pesa yake na wakamugeuza venye hako sai. Kumbi ata sisi si ni mwenye. Ngoja kidogo ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to our Gulf Online Media. And my name is Jackson254 TV. Karibuni. My name is the Ivano TV. Hello guys. Welcome to our show. I'm Susan Chia Lady. And guys, the reason as to why we are here today. Kuna hii story enye imetetemesha pale mwambasani. Story iko hivi story ni ya wazungu vas wale wa Kenya wenye wanaenda pale kwa kuna wale wa Kenya wanajiuza pale huwa wanaenda tu kujiuza ama wengine wanaenda tu kutafuta wazungu so for the past 3 days zimekuwa kwa mitandao i, I hope mmeona kwa citizen mmeona kwa KTN na imekuwa iki trade pale kwa Twitter so that is why we are here today you guys grab your popcorn Sit down and enjoy our show. Yeah, welcome so much, guys. So, guys, kuna hawa stiano yenye munaendanga Mombasa kwa hizo ma club kubwa kubwa. Munaenda uwa kugojia wa zungu. Ama sijui mkuna inaitangwa kudanga ama dioni niyo kiswaili ya uko sijui. Lakini munaendanga uko kwa matumaini ya kuwa utapata mzungu wa kuowe. Like, Mustiana ufanyi kazi, uko pale, unaenda pale kute, kute kugojia wa zungu wa kuje, sijui wa kuowe. Ama walale na hawa kulipe kitu kamba hiyo. So guys, siku hizi, venye mbesiki Ivano amesema for the past three days, umekua kubaya. Siku hizi hawa zungu, hawa kuji kununua wasichana. Kuna hiyo visa kathaa zimetokea that hawa zungu wanakuja wanarepu wasichana. Maybe kuna mmoja atitainua mengia kwa cho. After mengia kwa cho, mzungu waka mkuata nyuma, kaenda waka mrepia kwa cho. Na hawa alimuaribu, alimrepu. Yeah, like sim one, sim two, like ya alimuaribu vibaya sana. And then wale wazungu wakona pesa. Ukijaribu kumuambia that utamushitaki ama maybe uwezi mushitaki. Uwezi wa shitaki maraki ni watu wakona pesa. So guys, we are here as to warn you ladies, to warn you girls. Unawajua nini ni wasiana wadogo wadogo wenye munataka vya bure. Na tuambia that to warn you mkue hawea, mkiona hawa wazungu ama mkienda kushinda huko bure bila kazi. Mujue that anything can happen. How to say ya wana ni amzuri. Okay guys, and then wana mke bila pesa yake, unatriti yangwa vibaya na kila mtu. So welcome. Yeah. So kama vile mmezikiliza ladies and gentlemen, ya yeah, u mfumo wa sasa si kama ule mfumo wa kitambo wenye watu walikuwa natafuta wazungu na wana wapata na wana wabadilishi wa maisha. U mfumo di mwingine na u mfumo wa zungu wa shajua wa Kenya sababu ya zile shida ama sababu ya ugumu wa maisha wa Kenya wengi wanatafuta makaratasi kupitia wazungu wazungu sasa hivi washajua kwa sababu kuna wa Kenya wasaliti wenye wakishafika huyo Amerika wakishakula washashiba wakinyamba nyamba na wao wazungu wanaendanga wanaanza kuwatobolea siri unaona wanasahau ya kwamba hiyo daraja yenye walipanda watahitaji wakati wa kuteremka. Wanasahau ya kwamba Kenya pia kuna watu pia wangependa kusikia vizuri venye wao wanasikia. So wanaenda huko wanaanza kutoboa siri na wanapotoboa siri au mabwana zao wanaenda wanatobolea wana nani au majamaa mabeste zao. Wanaposhuka Mombasa wanakuja wakijua kwamba wa Kenya wana wa hunt. This is the reason why unaona sasa the hunter becomes an hunter. Unanielewa? So eh Mimi na wambia wa Kenya. Sasa hivi wazungu ni wachache sana. Ni wachache sana. Wenye sasa hivi wako. Genuine. Walakini wazungu wengi ni mikora. Hato kingia kwa dating site. 
wanaumba zungu na atakudanganya anataka kukuoa nini nini utamtumia nudes utamfanyia nini lakini ukishamtumia huyo mtu anaenda anaziguza ama anakublock so sasa hii kupata mtu genuine ngumu that's why nawaambia muombe sana na muaweke Mungu mbele so that kila kitu nachofanya Mungu akuongoze kwa sababu sasa hivi wale wasichana wengi sasa hivi wanajua wazungu wanapatikana Mombasa wameenda huko Mombasa kama vile eh, nani wa kina Susan wameelezea hapa au wanawake wanapofika Mombasa wazungu wanajua wanawake wamekuja that's why unaona sasa hao wazungu wanawakula wanawawacha unaona wanawafundisha lesson so that iwe kunzo kwa kwao kwa, kwa, na kwa watu wengine wenye wako na tabia ya kufanya nini ya kukuja kumaliza wazungu unaona so guys please be warned ya kwamba wazungu wanamaliza wasichana wa Kenya na pia wame demonstrate wameamua kukuja ku, ku revenge kwa sababu ya wale wazungu wenye pia wa Kenya wamedhulumu wa Kenya wa Kenya hey, wa Kenya pia wamedhulumu wazungu na kuambia wazungu wanalia huko nje ya huko yeah, so watamu nice. yeah, yeah. Guys, ina kitu kingine yenye naweza sema ni kama ni lazima sijui mnataka wazungu ama ni pesa mnataka. If I told you guys ni pesa mnataka, you can follow uh, Beki ya Kinyi. Ukienda pale kwa Beki ya Kinyi kwa TikTok account yake umuulize ile app yenye anatumianga atakwambia kwa sababu ukiwa kwa hiyo app hakuna mtu anaweza download hiyo hiyo hizo video zako wale unaenda tuseme tu ni app kama tu nini tuseme tu ni tuseme tu ni app kama hii ya Zoom sasa kama sasa hii sisi tunatumia Zoom so hii ni Zoom unaenda unafungua tu alafu uko na clients ni a ah, ah, ni kama ni TikTok unafungua alafu clients wanaanza kuingia kuna mwenye anakwambia tu anataka kuona ka kariva between kako ukikaingiza kidole kuna mwenye atakwambia nataka ukijifanya na kiukamba na sio lazima hata uonyeshane face yako kuna nani ni ya wazungu ni pia wazungu uh, 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 beki ya kinya alisema mostly wanakuanga wazungu Afrika wana wanaletanga pesa kidogo kwa sababu unapata mzungu atakutumia hata sijui uh, 300 dollars unaona So una, unaenda pale unafungua mwingine anakwambia uingize sijui carrot na hizo ni pesa manze within a day unatengeneza pesa haya kama wewe ni mrembo unaweza ingia kwa roscoco entrepreneurship unaenda huko ukisha approve na admin utakuwa sasa hiyo kazi inafanya ikanga na ma politicians lakini mimi sijataja mtu So admin wa hiyo group akiku approve alafu akupende so mtu atakuwa anakuja hapo anasema anaambia admin mimi nataka kadem ka 25 years keupe kakonde hivi admin anaenda kwa group anatafuta anatuma picha haraka haraka huyo mtu anaenda wanakulana pesa zinaingia imagine admin wa huyo ni tajiri my friend usione watu ile Kenya waki drive magari expensive utake kuishi life yao don't try to copy others sometimes you guys you fail because you just copy what others are doing not knowing their procedures they are using to get what they have so watu pale Kenya ni matajiri na uwezi jua kama wanafanya hizo tabia mbaya mbaya ai kwanza ile ya roscoco entrepreneurs eh manze mimi nikikuwa hey, mimi kama ni mrembo kweli lakini i'm not correcting what god did because we were created with the image of god so mimi sasa nasema example kama mimi ningekuwa huko we na kwambia ningekuwa naendesha gari niko na manyumba zangu but it is not too late it is not too late for me to jenga to buy a car to do what i'm just giving you an example kwa sababu pale Mombasa watu wameuliwa wengine wanaenda wanapatikana kama wameuliwa na utauliza mtu wengine wanaenda mtu hajawahi tumiwa nyuma anatumiwa nyuma anaanza kuendesha eh kila saa unapata ni muendesho muendesho jua amefanyiwa huku nyuma hajawahi fanyiwa tena ameanza kutumia pambas kama huyo msichana alikuwa analia akielezea vile huyo mzungu alimshika cha nguvu huko nyuma na mulipi imagine wazungu wanakuja kututesea kwa inji yetu guys what is that hebu comment at the comment section najua kuna watu wengi sana wamefanyiwa hiyo tabia comment at the comment section hapa kwa comment 
ni uchungu sana guys ni uchungu sana ladies and hao uh, wazungu kitu ya kwanza yenye watu wamjui wanataka wasichana wadogo hawataki mtume bia kwa over 30 years wanasema tu wanataka hata 19 some of them wanaitisha hadi watoto unapata kuna unajua Mombasa tu ni yule unapata tu kuna hata hata kasichana ka 18 years kameshikwa na huyo mzungu na kasichana kwa kwa roho yake kako pure like nimepata mtu mwenye anaweza nioa anaweza nitoa Kenya anaweza nitoa kwa shida kumbe huyo mtu amekuja ku revenge amekuja ku revenge venye watu wao guys mnajua kuna siku kama mnakumbuka hiyo story huyo mzungu hata sahihi kwa Mombasa sijui tangwa nani ameshi kufangia barabara Ameshi kufangia ibana ushaimona ameshi tu kufangia barabara sasa wale wazungu wakiona mtu kama huyo wanadhani nyingi sisi wa Kenya ndio tumewafanyia hivyo so the moment amekushika wewe msichana unajiuza kwa akili yako akili yake yako like yule mwenzetu ana, anafangia barabara hawa watu ndio walikula pesa yake na wakamugeuza venye hako saa hii kumbe hata si, sisi ni mwenyewe anataka kufanya hiyo kazi so for you girls wenye mnajiuza mnaenda kushinda kwa maoteli bila kazi my friend after ni kazi and for me, I will not tell you at the end of 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 Ivano amewaelezea ame about uh, the manaitwa bestie kwa anaitwa Bekia Kingi kwa TikTok. Ako na site, yeye anawanga site to create a site unaenda kujuzia huko. But mtu alileak zile video zake akijiingiza kitu na toshana hivi huko nyumba. You guys tell me one day huyo msichana atakuwa someone's mother. Sasa hebu ni niambie mtu watoto wataona nini? Watoto wataona mama yake ameingiza vitu mbili zinatoshana hivi, moja mbele ingine nyuma. Watoto watadhani mama yao hata ni kama Illuminati maana yake watashindwa hii ni nini. Lakini tu hata ungeenda hata ufulie mtu nguo kibarua upate miaine zako enda kula ungali yako na sukuma zenye amani. So tu tu, tu young girls msikubali kutumika vibaya. Another thing guys. Another thing na yenye watu hawawaambi yangi all was challenge wa wanyashe ipelekwa majuu na wazungu wanatesekanga kama nyanya ina ni. Ushaona nyanya bila mkono? Nyani aina mikono like in a way that yezi ruka ishike muti yezi ende jitafutie hivyo sasa hawa sitana uteseka unapata umeenda kwa mzungu acha kutoa Kenya wale watu hakuangi na pesa si wote hukua na pesa akisha kutoa pesa ilikuwa pesa ya sijui retirement whatever akupeleke kwao akikupeleka kwao unaenda kuishi like a normal wife not every lady that anatokanga Kenya anaenda kuishi maisha sijui maisha wapi wengine wanaenda kuteseka kwa hiyo kitu ya mwangu wangu Hawa sana wako Kenya wanakuja hapa kwa TikTok wanashinda live through how to wakiwachekesha wakiwafanya mufil vibaya but usiku pia mtu alali alali usiku mtu atalala hadi na ameoleka na mtu mwenye imagine mwanaume alishindwa na wanawake wa kwao unangoja uolewa na mwanaume yako 60 years 60 years anakwambia vizuri sana sijawahi oa maisha yangu yote na sina mtoto huyo mtu ni nini kama si njini Mana ke mana umi normal na naiza kuwa me divorce. If mutu wa meishi iso iso adi ni yaka sixty ana mtoto. I'm expecting that person ni abi e ni likuwa na baby me bi tuka divorce ni kona watoto. Tadi nasa mana umi me kujia Kenya me kuwa ana watoto ana baby ako tu iivo. We ni mutu ata adishinda watu wakuwa. So just be careful. Si jase ma kuwa zungote ni wabaya. Kuna dos few kwenye mungu na tumanga. Na if mungu alieka dream yako ni kuleka na mzungu trust in god utapata that mzungu but in a right way but mwana umekupata unamgojea mahali even wa africa wenzetu guys ati akupate tu umekaa hivi kwa hoteli kazi yako ni umekunywa maji karibu dramu muzima tu kwa kiti hivi juu hata huna pesa ya kununua soda umegeti ungojea mzungu akuje once huyo mzungu ata notice that huyo mtu ana pesa anangoja mzungu they, they wana juanga like hundred percent. You are not dating for love. Una date for money. Eh? Uwe ukiona mana ume vi unaona tu kazi. Kibarua ube pata kibarua. Ukiona mana ume wani mapenzi unaona kibarua. Yo ni kazi yo ni kazi. Una date for money. And once mana ume ame notice your key to ladies. Uwe mtu hata wai kuheshimu. Ata kutrit vibaya sana. Una fidelity security sana last year. Ambapo msichana alikuwa anapigwa kwa gari na mzungu. Msichana alikuwa na katoto kandogo amezalia. Ilikuwa bado Mombasa. 
Msichana amezalia mzungu and then alikuwa anapigwa kwa barabara. Msichana venye aliulizwa akasema mali wanaishi Mombasa huyo mzungu ameishi kumchapa na kumushikisha. Maana yake mzungu akona na pesa na jana na askari. So every time wakiko sana mzungu anachukuanga mtoto, anapiga msichana na anaita askari wanamshika. Wa askari wakimshika anawaambia alikuwa anataka kuumiza mtoto. Like uko kwa nji yako na mtu anapea watu wenzako pesa ndo uonekane mubaya akitaka kutoka Kenya atoke na yule mtoto to make the matter worse huyo msichana alikuwa amepewa hadi ukimu so guys just be careful make yourself make use of yourself eh tafuta kazi fanya fanya anything wacha kama utapatana na mzungu kama Mungu alisema utapatana na mzungu na hauna kazi we patana na mzungu kwa mujengo chenye Mungu alisema ni chako kitabaki kuwa chako wacha patana na mzungu ukiosha vyombo kwa hoteli but usiende kuka kama hawa wasiana wanafanywa wana, wana Mombasa msichana ni wale tu akutulia tu akingoja azuku kwa barabara karibu hata wakimbiza wakiwaitanga aliingia tu kwa choo akafuata akafanywa venye alifanywa mbele na nyuma ameumizwa na mzungu akaenda zake na hakulipwa Mungu tu awasaidie like Mungu awasaidie na wafungulie milango mufanye kitu yenye inafaa maana I know some of you ni influence muna 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 mnachukua hizo vitu kutoka kwa marafiki ni pressure za watu unaona mtu anaishi lifestyle fulani atio sijui hii Mombasa iko na wasichana wengi sana Jackson unakumbuka video za juzi Mustiana anakamua ana, ana matiti anaweka anajaza maziwa kwa besheni hizo ndio kazi watu wanafanya but those people watakuinfluenza aje Mzungu alinipea pesa lakini deep down ile kazi anafanya hata shetani anashtuka maana ke mtu badala unyonyeshe mtoto unakamulia besheni ufurahishe mzungu na acheni niwaambie hawa wazungu wanafajishanga mtu kazi yenye hata shetani hana hiyo akili sijui zile akili wao utoa wapi so to our fellow sisters ebu mujipende ebu avoid those people if amini kitu moja in every process ebu amini mungu if mungu aweka aliweka sink nature that fulani utaoleka na white man amini hiyo kitu itatimia if mungu aliweka sink nature that utafika germany utafika Sweden utafika America hiyo kitu itatimia whether utaenda by muzungu whether utaenda wewe peke yako but that thing will that dream will come true one day hebu aminine Mungu but hiyo kazi ya kukimbiza hao watu hao wazungu sikizo wamekuwa wabaya guys hawaaminiki if utapata mzuri utakimbiza mmoja akuwe mzuri it's okay but just be careful ndo tumefanya hii video maana yake ni story imeshtua watu sana chenye wazungu wanafanyia hao wasichana huko so just be careful guys just be careful yeah yeah so guys ni hivyo tu venye mmesikia alafu kuna story ingine ili trade kwenye mitandao na jaribu ku, kukumbuka jina ya hako kademu inapotea sijui kalikuwa kamkikuyu ama ni kamjaluo kalichapa mzungu sana hii walikuwa live tiktok kali mchapa ka anaitwa aje na vile anakuanga famous mkumbuki guys yani alishambulia huyo mzungu alimchapa na ikasemekana huwa ana yani kamzungu kama maskini na imagine huyo demo amenunuliwa nini nyumba lovington nyumba nasikia ni ya mamilioni alafu ati yeye anaenda anakunywa pombe anakuja anaanza kupiga hapo kamzungu sikumbuki guys hiyo video ilienda viral sana Aya, kuna hii bado ya huyu msichana aliuliwa na huyu mzungu hiyo kesi hata sijui ilienda aje ilifanywa na linkungi watu wao walikuwa wanaelezea vile huyo mtu wao wa, alienda na mzungu alafu akaenda akapotelea huko ni vile siezi kumbuka guys so aki vitu zingine tusifanye just for the sake of unaona beshta yako ameenda majua amepata mzungu amepata mahali pazuri hao watu pia wanateseka Aya uki, ukifanikiwa upate mzungu hapa Kenya wacha kumtesa. Hao watu wanaona ukitesa mtu wao so wanataka kufanya revenge. So please guys, tuni tumalizia hapo until next time. Guys, please kwa wenye wana join premier yetu sahi, kindly subscribe, share, like and turn on the notification bell. Yeah, bye guys. Yeah. Okay, bye.